The Preparation and Properties of NaK Attention! Sodium and potassium react violently with water and can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. For the experiment, 0.47 grams of potassium and 0.13 grams of sodium are added to a test tube with an inert solvent and squeezed together so that the metallic surfaces are in contact. Then the metals are heated carefully with a heat gun so that they melt. After that they can be mixed further by stirring. This mixture is an alloy named NAK or NAC. With a content of 40 to 90 percent potassium it is liquid at room temperature. At a content of 78 percent it is at the eutectic point which has the lowest melting point the alloy can reach which is at minus 11 degrees C. Then the NAK was drawn up in a syringe. In the air it reacts faster than sodium or potassium and in a few reactions a layer of hydroxides is formed. Little droplets react similar to potassium and the hydroxides and hydrogen are formed. Next isopropanol was added to the warm solvent and it was stirred a bit. This way the oxidized layer can be removed which is the same way it's done with the pure alkali metals. In addition to that the smaller droplets coalesce with the larger ones when the solvent cools down. It is interesting that the drop then can't be drawn into the syringe as easily as before. With a glass pipette it could then be drawn up. In this case it is important that a bit of solvent is drawn up at first to prevent the NAK from reacting with the air in the pipette. The wider opening of the pipette allows larger drops to form which then give a better impression of the high reactivity. It often causes the drops to jump out of the water before they have even reacted completely. The high reactivity is also the reason why it is used for drying solvents. In addition to that the surface is getting faster back into contact with the solvent after reacting because of the alloy being liquid. NAK is usually made directly before it's used and used up completely as it forms a layer of potassium superoxide faster than potassium itself which can cause an ignition or even an explosion. For the disposal of small residues, isopropanol or tertiary butyl alcohol is added to the inert solvent. Never use ethanol or methanol because the reaction with primary alcohols may become too violent. This were the preparation and properties of NAK. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.